guys, come on downstairs. We're doing a little Minnesota Twins franchise here today on the channel. It's episode number 274. We're going to play the Metrodome series against the Los Angeles Angels, games 148 through 150. So we come into this one all tied up with the Tigers at the top of the American League Central at 79 and 68. We are 9 and 3 so far in the gauntlet that has been the first part of the month of September. We've handled it really well. And we've got a three-game series with the Angels and then a three-game series with the Mariners. And then all we have left is the White Sox and the Marlins. So we're going to be without the services of Francisco Cervelli, who's on the 10-day injured list with a shoulder strain, as well as Domingo Santana out with a bruised leg. Game number 148 against the Halos. The Tigers get the win, so we're going to have to win to keep pace with Detroit in the American League Central. And the Astros, who we are trailing by one and a half in the American League Wild Card, end up losing to the Mariners, so we can also gain a game on the Astros in that race. But we end up losing this game 3-2. to two. I played it out, but I'm not going to show highlights because it just felt awkward because Tyler Skaggs was the starting pitcher for the Angels. And uh, I went in and tried to edit his name and likeness, but it wouldn't let me. So we're just going to show the score and move on. All right, game number 149. If you're not sure why Tyler Skaggs passed away last year or two years ago, I can't remember what it was. So that's why we did that. So the White Sox in this one end up getting the win over the Tigers so we can gain a game back on Detroit. And the Astros lose again. So we can end up gaining a game on the Astros as well. Gio Gonzalez will take the hill for the Angels. He is 11 and 10, a 3.66 ERA. We're going to send out Steven Matz, who has a 3.25 ERA in 185 and a third innings. He came over from the New York Mets in a trade around the trade deadline. All right, first inning action here at the Metrodome. Mike Trout, we're wearing uniforms here from the late 70s and maybe early 80s. And Mike Trout's going to blast one out to left. 34th home run of the season for him. It's a two-run shot, and the Angels draw first blood here in game number two. Let's go to the bottom of the first inning now. Gio Gonzalez pitching Miguel Sano at the plate. Two runners on, one out in the inning, and Miguel Sano is going to line it straight back up the middle. I know every time you all see Miguel Sano at the plate, you're expecting it to be a home run. He has been smashing them this year. But that is just a single that ends up driving in a run, and it cuts the Angels' lead in half at 2-1. to one. Fourth inning, this is Mark Kirby. We got him from the Rangers in the trade that sent Will Myers to Texas. Uh, coming over here was Kirby and uh, Delino DeShields. And Kirby ends up striking out. Gio Gonzalez gets out of the inning. Let's go to the fifth now. Jose Altuve at the plate. And Altuve is going to pop this one up behind first. Mario Calero is retreating. That probably should have been the second baseman's ball, but he stopped going after it. And we had to flag it down with Mario Calero. He gets there, puts it away. Middle of the fifth inning. The Angels still lead it 2-1. to one. We go to the sixth now. Nolan Arenado at the plate. 201, 17 home runs, 50 RBIs. Was just traded to the Cardinals in real life. But he plays for the Twins here, and he hasn't had a great season, but he's going to help us out with a solo shot to tie the game up. Arenado with the home run. That's his 18th of the year, despite only hitting just barely above 200. 18 home runs seems like that's not a bad number for him. So home runs, pretty high percentage of his base hits have been home runs, or his not base hits, just hits. Uh, here's Roman Quinn at the plate now. Bottom of the sixth inning, next batter, first pitch. Second pitch, sorry, and Roman Quinn lifts that one to left. Back-to-back -back home runs. Two home runs and three pitches. And that gives the Twins a 3-2 lead. Roman Quinn with his eighth home run of the season. I believe that's his second or third. I think it's his third, actually, with the Twins since we acquired him from the Phillies. So 3-2, Twins with the lead. Let's go to the seventh inning. The Tigers have already lost today. We came into the day a game behind the Tigers. A win would tie us back up in the division race. Here's Stefan Pena. Line drive up through the middle, runner rounding third, heading to the plate. And there will be no play. Steven Matz cuts it off, and Stefan Pena 
ties the game up at three. The Angels are going to bring in Doug Fister, a former Detroit Tiger. And he's going to come on to face Tommy Nolan in the bottom of the seventh inning with a runner on first and one out. And Tommy Nolan with a base hit to right field. He was batting less than 100 on the season. And he's basically up here for his legs. We're going to bring in Delino DeShields as a pinch runner at second. So we've got speed on both bases. And Mario Calero is going to slap one down the left field line. It's going to get past the Angels' third baseman, Trevor Plouffe. And Delino DeShields comes in to score. Probably wouldn't have if we didn't pinch run. So at the end of seven, Twins lead it 4-3. to three. As you see, the Angels get out of the inning with a double play. Let's go to the ninth now. We're going to bring on Kevin Segrist. 42 saves and 49 save opportunities. Second in the American League in saves. He's facing C.J. Crone. 3-2 count with a runner on first. Crone, ground ball to short. On to second. And on to first for the double play. And there are two outs in the top of the ninth. Now former twin Trevor Plouffe. That doesn't really look like Trevor Plouffe. Maybe from back here it does with the mustache. I think Plouffe had a mustache at one point in his career. But he swings and misses, strikes out. And the Angels fall to the Twins 4-3 to in our second game of this three-game series. And we are tied back up with the Tigers atop the American League Central. And we are just a half a game now behind the Astros in the wild card. So a couple of avenues to the postseason for the Twins that we'll be watching over the next now 13 games left. This is the last game of this episode. And then we'll have 12 games remaining. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, the Tigers lose again to the White Sox, 5-3. So a win here would put us a game up on the Tigers, and the Astros lose as well. So a win here would also put us up a half a game over the Astros. So you get a good look at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. I've been to two games at the Metrodome in my lifetime. Never been to Target Field yet. That's on my bucket list. One of these days I'll get back out there. I live in Oregon. It's not it's not a you know a one-day drive from here to the Twin Cities. Garrett Cole is going to take the hill for the Angels, wearing uniforms from the 90s here at the Metrodome. Kyle Gibson, 3.45 ERA, will make the start. We've got our rotation set up so that if the season comes down to the final game of the year, we have Sonny Gray all set to go in that game. Kyle Gibson's going to give up a hit to the right side. Jose Altuve coming in. Play at the plate is not in time. And the Angels jump on the board first again. Every game in this series seems like they've scored in the first inning. Here's Trevor Plouffe now in the top of the second. 1-2 count from Gibson. Plouffe, line drive to left. That one's going to get up and out just barely. And Trevor Plouffe hits a home run for the Angels. Home run number 22 on the year for Trevor Plouffe. He's had a pretty solid season for the Halos, who look like they are headed to the postseason. Most likely, they are the first wildcard team, and they're actually starting to catch up to the Rangers in the American League West. We'll look at the standings after this game. Angels leading 3 to nothing, bottom of the fourth inning with two outs. Miguel Sano at the plate. Here's the delivery from Cole, and a foul tip is caught by the Angels catcher. Another strikeout for Garrett Cole. And at the end of four, it's still three to nothing, Angels. Let's move on to inning number five. Wilmer Flores steps into the batter's box for the Twins with two outs. In the bottom of the fifth, the full count. Here's the delivery from Cole and a soft ground ball to short. The play is made, and don't look now, guys, but we are through five innings, and Garrett Cole has not given up a hit. Let's go to the sixth inning. This is Jace Peterson at the plate. Peterson, 3-2 count with nobody out. Chance to break up the no-hitter. And he's going to lift this one out to left. Catch is made for out number one. So Garrett Cole has a no-hitter going. However, he is at 79 pitches here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Carlos Paulino at the plate now on pitch number 86. He's going to ground it to the right side. Jose Altuve on to first for the out. And I mean, Garrett Cole's already up here where 
if I'm the manager, I'm starting to put guys in the bullpen. 86 pitches, 88 pitches now. Ground ball left side, Trevor Plouffe on to first and through six. Garrett Cole has a no-no. Seventh inning, Miguel Sano at the plate with two outs. Pitch number 100 on the night for Garrett Cole. And Sano, a slow chopper to the right side and it's gonna sneak through. The Angels had the shift on. If they didn't, that was probably an easy out and the no-hitter is gone. But are the Angels gonna take out Garrett Cole? No, they're not. 103 pitches now. A line drive base hit up the middle for Jace Peterson's second hit of the game. Do the Twins have a little two-out rally? Delino DeShields at the plate now. One-two count. And DeShields is going to pop it up into shallow right. Jose Altuve pedaling back. Makes the catch. And at the end of seven, it's still three to nothing. The no-hitter is gone, but the shutout is still alive and well for the Angels. Let's go to the next inning. Trevor May in for Kyle Gibson. He's facing C.J. Crone with a runner on second. It's Altuve, and he's going to still sec or still third easily. And now on a 1-2 count, C.J. Crone with a base hit through the hole on the left side is going to push across another Angels run. So C.J. Crone with the RBI. Middle of the eighth, it's 4 to nothing Angels. Let's go to the bottom of the eighth. Oh my goodness, they're going to put Garrett Cole back out there. 123rd pitch of the night right here. And Garrett Cole goes through eight shutout innings. Andrelton Simmons makes the play. The Twins just signed him in real life. That's good. They needed to do something. All right, we go to the ninth inning, and they actually took Garrett Cole out of the game. His night ends after 123 pitches. And it's Greg Molle. And he ends up striking out Conforto to end the ball game. Great outing for Garrett Cole. And the Angels could cause some problems for people in the postseason. They've got some players. Garrett Cole, uh, Jose Altuve, Mike Trout. They're not a bad squad. Look out for them. All right, so Angels win the season series four games to two. Because the Tigers ended up losing, we will stay tied with them. The Red Sox only one game ahead of the Rays in the East and only two games ahead of the Blue Jays. Blue Jays have won seven in a row. The Rays have won four in a row. All right, Tigers and Twins both tied at 80 and 70 with 12 games remaining. It's a two-horse race in the Central. And, man, it's starting to look like 163. Game 163 might be a real possibility. Rangers, two and a half games ahead of the Angels. Five and a half ahead of the Astros. So still holding a little bit of a lead out there in the West. Let's look at the wild card standings now. Angels, a couple games ahead of the Astros, three to be exact. And we are a half a game behind the Astros. So that's another avenue that we could get into the postseason, either the wild card or the division winner. Obviously, we want the division win so that we don't play just a single wild card game. That would be uh, intense, to say the least. All right, National League East. Nationals, four-game lead over the Phillies, seven over the Mets. In the Central, this is another interesting race here. The Brewers a half a game ahead of the Cubs and two games ahead of the Cardinals, four and a half ahead of the Reds. But the Brewers have come from nowhere to take the lead in the division late in the season. Dodgers, they have a playoff spot clinched, and they are very close to clinching the division, like another win or two. The Giants have actually also locked up a playoff spot, but it is destined to be a wild card spot. And the other one, got a few teams fighting for that final spot. The Cubs, one and a half games ahead of the Cardinals, four over the Reds. The Rockies with a long shot at five and a half games back. All right, that's it for episode number 274. Up next, we have the Seattle Mariners. On the road in Seattle with 12 games to go in the season, the races are heating up here in Minnesota Twins franchise on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.